Introducing Chairman. Uh, it's my pleasure to, to be invited and uh, also have, a, have an opportunity to give a talk at this uh, so well uh, nicely organized uh, workshop. And the uh, uh, title is uh, Harmonic Spaces and uh, Fisher Information Geometry of uh, Poisson Kernel. And uh, this, this is a uh, uh, joint work with uh, uh, Professor uh, uh, H. Sato. He's now in uh, Denki uh, Daigaku, Tokyo Denki Daigaku in Japan also. And, <coughs> and this is the uh, uh, continuation uh, talk. Since uh, I, I gave uh, this kind of uh, talk in the uh, last year, okay. So, so I'd like to introduce. Uh, so, <clears throat> and uh, uh, there are three uh, key words of this talk. And one is uh, uh, information, feature information metric or feature information geometry. And another one is uh, a Poisson kernel. And uh, the last one is a Busemann function, okay? <clears throat> so first I, uh, I'll give you a very, very uh, simple example. Uh, so consider, so here is a, uh, so, so in R2, there is a so open disk, yeah. So radius one, okay. Okay. <clears throat> And here, so, and here is a, the boundary. This is just a unit circle, okay? And <coughs> so consider in this uh, open di unit disk uh, a Dirichlet problem. Okay. So for t to be less than one, or? or uh, sorry, less than one, okay? So here is a Laplace equation, and also you. So here, okay. This is just a Laplace equation, <clears throat> and this is a Dirichlet program. Yeah. So here, if, if is a, a given function on this boundary and uh, solve this equation, uh, so uh, boundary condition is this one, okay? This is a very, very classical, yeah? And how, how to solve this one, yeah? <clears throat> uh, but there, there is a very, very famous, uh, uh, famous uh, uh, integrat integral formula, so called uh, Poisson integral formula. Okay. How to, how to, here, here, here is a point x. Uh, So identify this one, and also point identified with uh, complex number with uh, uh, absolute values less than one. Okay. So this is a, a very very famous formula. So you can see this formula 
in uh, uh, analysis, textbook of analysis. So here. So how, how to, so, uh, <clears throat> is it okay? Okay? If you want to, uh, want to see this uh, formula, uh, you, can, you can use uh, so polar coordinate and uh, uh, expand U and F in terms of Fourier, Fourier uh, series, then you can get this one. Okay. <clears throat> and here, this is just a, a Poisson integral formula. Yeah. So this is some, a kind of a potential theory. Yeah, okay. And here, <coughs> so this function, this function is very, very important. Okay. And uh, so we put <coughs> so and uh, this function, this function is a, a function of variable z and uh, also a point on the boundary. Okay. <coughs> and this is called Poisson kernel. Okay. <coughs> And this this Poisson kernel uh, satisfies several properties. <coughs> uh, so first one. <coughs> so this is harmonic. It is harmonic. In, in Z, okay, <clears throat> for for a fixed theta, okay. Theta, yeah, it's a. <clears throat> and also, oh. <clears throat> So as you, as you see, this this is a so positive function, okay? This is a positive function. Okay. <clears throat> and also uh, also satisfy Integral equation, okay. Okay. <clears throat> and also, oh, <laughs> so this function is. Uh, It behaves like delta function, yeah. <coughs> if if this point here, so here is a point boundary point, and if if the point x goes to another point on the boundary, then <clears throat> so here <laughs> instead of okay. this okay. If you fix the 
Hmm? Yeah. So in the second one, right? So second one, if you fix the G on the interest over set, right? Interest over set, right? Yes. If you want any boss, this one. If you fix the set down, if you interest on the disk, then this was one. No. 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 Infinity. Yeah, maybe. Since so this is open open interval, so so, so, so this, so the Poisson kernel satisfies these yeah, properties, and uh, <clears throat> this is a very, very. Uh, this second property gives gives uh, gives us a probability, okay, on the uh, boundary, and also oh, this this means pr probability. And also, this this is positive, so density function, density probability density function is positive, okay. So we de so we can define. Uh, so here, v one, we can define a map from d one to. Uh, probability space of a probability on uh, on the boundary. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, so, uh, so I'm going to talk about this uh, map, yeah, uh, from the uh, open unit ball, unit disk, to the space of probability measures on the bound, <clears throat> and we call this uh, map uh, Poisson kernel. Poisson kernel map. And here, uh, th this is a uh, infinite dimensional manifold. Yeah, since uh, so, this is a space of uh, some kind of functions or some kind of uh, so one, one forms. <clears throat> and uh, but in uh, in. Uh, Statistics, th uh, there is uh, some uh, uh, metric, metric uh, defined in uh, called the uh, Fisher information metric. Yeah. <clears throat> so, so we can we can investigate. Uh, uh, Riemannian geometry of this uh, map. In, okay, but the one is uh, just an uh, open, open disk, so we can uh, uh, generalize this situation into a uh, higher dimensional manifold. So, so instead of unit disk, uh, we we can. Uh, <coughs> So, so here consider the, we can consider the Adamar manifold. So simply connected, complete Riemannian manifold of uh, non-positive curvature. Okay, and we we can consider similarly. So th this is a Fisher information metric. Which I'll explain later. 
And uh, here, uh, boundary of X is just uh, uh, boundary at the infinity of the other uh, manifold, or ideal boundary. <coughs> So, so I want to consider uh, the geometry of this map, okay? <clears throat> so first, first of all, I'll explain uh, the following theorem. <clears throat> so, so in a dimensional other manifold, but uh, <clears throat> uh, but the very special special round or one. So rank one symmetric space. Type. So, or a uh, uh, non symmetric, uh, so Damek Rich space. So then, <coughs> so f for those uh, other manifold, we can define this map phi phi, and f this phi phi is uh, uh, homothetic. and. Uh, So minimal and uh, further uh, pullback of the Fisher information metric is just uh, Proportional to the uh, metric on the on the other manifold, and here rho rho is just uh, uh, volume entropy. So <clears throat> so rho, rho is just a uh, uh, gross rate of uh, volume of uh, radius, volume of the bo uh, ball of uh, radius r here. <clears throat> and also I'll explain later uh, uh, Damek Rich space. <clears throat> this is the uh, first one, and the second one is uh, so. So these manifold, uh, so rank one symmetric space of a non-compact type or a non-symmetric Damek Rich space, uh, very, very special uh, Adamar manifold. Uh, these are uh, uh, Riemannian homogeneous and also uh, harmonic space, yeah? So, so, uh, recently, I, I and we 
uh, considered uh, when, uh, is it whether the converse statement is true or not, okay? <coughs> so converse are, are it, so converse. Harmonic space is, uh, so, for example, uh, so you, you, you consider the sphere, geodesic sphere, yeah? And uh, uh, you can, you can uh, so every time, every point, so mean curvature, yeah? But this mean curvature is constant, uh, depend on only the radius, not on the point. This is the definition of harmonic space. <coughs> <Okay. coughs> so, So next one, next theorem is so consider Adamar manifold. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> so assume P. Homothetic <coughs> and minimal then yeah, so, so we we consider the converse yeah. then this person kernel in this So the person kernel is uh, uh, so, so homosexual. Oh, let me see. This is just uh, Then the Poisson kernel. Poisson kernel is uh, written in exponential form in this way. So B, B is just a Bussmann function. Yeah. This is a Bussmann function. So what, what the Bussmann function is just, uh, let me, or later I'll explain. Since, uh, we need uh, the, the notion of uh, uh, boundary at infinity. Okay. And also, uh, this is the first conclusion. The second one is uh, uh, <coughs> Adamar Manifold is uh, uh, harmonic but very, very special. Uh, asymptotically harmonic. Asymptotically <coughs> harmonic. So ha asymptotically harmonic means uh, uh, how to write? 
this, this uh, asymptotic harmonic means uh, any horospheres. A horosphere is, uh, uh, is just a level, level surf, hypersurface of a Bismarck function. Horosphere. I'll explain later. But uh, here you have uh, so images this, in this way. So he, here is a Admiral manifold, and here is a boundary at infinity, and here is a point, boundary point, and here is a Oh, how to write. So here is a very, very many, many geodesic rays going to the boundary point. And here is a horospheres. Okay. These are level hypersurfaces. And uh, asymptotically harmonic means uh, every horospheres uh, has a constant mean curvature. But this constant is uh, 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 common o o over uh, any horospheres. And also, is, uh, is a visibility manifold. Oh, visibility manifold means uh, <coughs> so any any two point distinct point on the boundary, yeah. Uh, you can you can join by geodesic uh, through to through to okay two point. So visibility is just in this way. <clears throat> okay. So this is a second second statement, a second theorem. <clears throat> and uh, th third one is just here. Assume as in uh, theorem B, okay, and uh, further assume uh, compact quotient. And also, and also assume, and the sectional curvature is uh, strictly negative. Okay. Then, th this at the marimar for this rank one symmetric. This is uh, uh, just the answer to the com uh, question. Okay. But we assume the strongly sectional coverage is ne uh, negative, and also a uh, compact quotient. Before giving uh, uh, details, uh, I'll, I should mention uh, about, uh, the work of uh, Heber. He, he gave the following theorem. So, so theorem. J. Hiba. Oh. <clears throat> so sim simply connected
Riemannian homogeneous. Is uh, oh, or is Einstein and uh, asymptotically harmonic if and only if uh, it is a uh, it is a uh, Euclidean or <coughs> Lanquan symmetric space of non compact type or or non non symmetric symmetric Damocles space <coughs> okay. but he he uh, he uh, he made use uh, very, very use of very very strong uh, condition, so Riemannian homogeneous. So it's a very very strong uh, assumption. But Euclidean means uh, harmonic space is always uh, Einstein. So this is uh, uh, one theorem concerning with uh, asymptotically harmonic space. So th this is the uh, uh, introduction and uh, my main result, okay? Where did you use the horosphere? Hmm? Where did you use the horosphere? Hor horosphere? Oh, yeah. Uh, horosphere is just a, a level surface. Level half a surface of a uh, Bismarck function. And here is a... There is a, a canonically defined unit normal vectors. This is just a so gradient of gradient of Bismarck function, yeah. And the Hessian Hessian of this gradient uh, Hessian of Bismarck function is just a second fundamental form of this hypersurface Hessian. No. Oh. And uh, uh, trace, of, trace of the Hessian is just uh, uh, minus sign of the Laplacian of Bismarck function. Okay? But here, so, person kernel is also harmonic. Yeah? So, so this person kernel is just a uh, Satisfy this one, and also, so P is just uh, written in this way. So, uh, let me see how to how to write. Let's see. Maybe in this way. Yeah. In this way. So, so th this means. Uh, uh, the Laplacian of Bismarck function is minus c. So this means that uh, uh, mean coverage of the whole sphere. Okay. So this is constant. So, so this is a very, very important formula. Since th this, this is defined in a uh, uh, Dirichlet program, so in analysis. Yeah? This is a, this, this is a analytic, analytic side. Yeah? But this Bismarck function, uh, which I'll uh, give you later, but this is uh, uh, geodesically defined. 
Yeah. So on, uh, on the whole case, okay? yes. case so yes. what is the So this is an analytic side and this is geometric side. So there is a bridge between analysis and uh, geometry. So th this, this is very, very important. But I'll, I'll, first I'll give you, but uh, okay. So Fisher inform information metric. And here, so you consider a compact manifold, even not Riemannian, but it has a, uh, so volume, okay? It's a volume form, but uh, but the same, a volume is a unit, okay? So this is a compact today, compact. <clears throat> so you consider uh, over this manifold a uh, measure, probability measure. Okay, so Proba probability measure. T measure. So probability measure is just a, so uh, n form, but here so density function we call this one density function always assume, assume always positive, okay? So of course integration of m is one. <clears throat> and uh, consider the set of all such a probability measure, okay? <clears throat> so So this is an infinite dimensional manifold. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> so, so, uh, so we want to go, we want to define a, a Riemannian or inner product on, on each tangent space, okay? So what is a tangent space? So tangent is, is space just is just a, uh, n form on them, but integration is just zero, okay? So this is just uh, n form, but integration is zero, okay? <clears throat> but this 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 is just a. Uh, uh, linear subspace of infinite dimensional vector space, uh, does, there is no appearance of the point mu, okay? So, so this is just a, uh, also uh, gives a tangent space at each point mu, but this is just a model space, okay? <clears throat> and define uh, so, in a product, okay. Between two vectors, tangent to, okay. So how to write, so here, uh, QX, oh, how to write? New X oh. 
Okay. This is the definition of the Fisher, Fisher information metric. <clears throat> if we ignore this, this one, then this is just a, a L3 in a product. But uh, here, so uh, density function of the probability measure appears. Yeah. This is. This is uh, the reason why this is very important in statistics. <clears throat> okay. Okay. And this this metric is a very very uh, nice. Uh, admit uh, has a nice property. And uh, uh, given by. Uh, uh, Thomas Friedrich, yeah, and uh, so this met this metric has a, a constant uh, scalar curvature, yeah, in this uh, infinite dimensional manifold. Even this is infinite, but this has a constant scalar uh, constant sectional curvature, form one over four, yeah, and also. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, isometry, isometry groups contain very, very large groups, just like a gauge group. Yeah. Consider uh, so here is a different morphism. Phi uh, uh, preserving orientation. Then each diffeo, each diffeo. If if we pull back each uh, probability measure by this uh, DFO, then it it also a probability measure. But also uh, this pullback uh, satisfy the that the, this uh, feature information metric invariant under the DFO morphisms. So very very large uh, isometry group. This admit, this admit very very large. So, okay. So next time. Hmm? PM homogeneous. Yes, that's right. Homogeneous. This is homogeneous. Oh no no, this is homogeneous. Since any any uh, two probability measures. Uh, there is uh, uh, one different morphisms, uh, different morphism. Coming from the M. M. This, this is just a, a theorem of Moser. Yeah. Mo Moser. Uh, Moser theorem. If you have a two volume form having the same integration. Yeah. Then there is a P. This is just a Moser. Okay. <clears throat> so this is just homogeneous. But sectional coverage is uh, one over four. So maybe it's a infinite dimensional symmetric space. So now I'll explain. <coughs> oh, so other manifold. Maybe, maybe infinite dimensional sphere. So, so other manifold. So, so Ademar man, the exa typical example is uh, Ademar manifold is uh, Euclidean. But uh, today's talk, we uh, skip 
Euclidean. Since the Euclidean space doesn't admit any Poisson kernel, yeah. Since, uh, yeah, okay. So, a typical example is uh, uh, hyperbolic space. Of course, uh, there is a uh, symmetric space of non-compact type, a typical example, but the hyperbolic space. So real or uh, complex quaternion or Cayley, okay? And also, uh, Damage-rich space. <clears throat> okay, so Damage-rich space is, uh, uh, is uh, a sort of Lie group, a solvable Lie group, which, uh, which admit the Riemann, uh, Riemannian metric, and uh, so one-dimensional one extension of uh, uh, H type uh, D group, uh, two step nilpotent D group. Okay, and th this is not uh, so familiar, but uh, there is a very, very nice uh, uh, lecture note even by <laughs> Professor Bernd and uh, Tricheri and Fanfeke. Yeah. It's a nice uh, uh, sort of uh, Geometric textbook. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so, but th these are so I share a common feature uh, properties. These are Riemannian homogeneous. And also uh, harmonic, harmonic space. Harmonic means just uh, uh, any small uh, geodesic sphere has a constant mean curvature, but this constant mean curvature depends only on the radius of the sphere. Yeah. Doesn't depend on the center of the center. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, so here is a So now consider the so bound, ideal boundary of a boundary at infinity. This is just a, a geodesic race. So there are many, many geodesic ray. Yeah. So this gray is just uh, uh, defined on half open interval, okay? But uh, two, two rays are equivalent if uh, the distance of corresponding point on, the, on, on, the, on two rays uh, uh, bounded from above. So, So by by uh, quotient by uh, equivalence relation, and this this is and th this is just a uh, ideal boundary. But this is uh, identify. Some point, some fixed point, or so. And here is a uni, uh, unit vector. This is unit sphere in the tangent space. Okay. So here is a vector. Okay. <clears throat> so, so identify this unit tangent sphere with the uh, ideal boundary. So this is. Uh, Isomorphic to unit sphere, okay. <clears throat> and 
And also, uh, in the same way as the unit open ball, uh, unit open disk, we can consider uh, Dirichlet problem, Dirichlet problem at infinity. So you consider, uh, so Laplace equation, yeah, this is just And you so this is a, this is a Dirichlet problem, but the boundary condition is a, a condition at infinity. Yeah. But in this case, uh, uh, similarly as in the open unit disk. Uh, the person kernel is uh, very, very uh, plays, an, plays an important role in solving this equation. And uh, <clears throat> here, person kernel. Uh, here, person kernel, or TC. But Poisson uh, kernel is just uh, harmonic, harmonic, positive and harmonic in theta, for fixed theta, yeah? And also, uh, Given the solution of this equation, so this is a, a fundamental solution of this uh, Dirichlet program. This is a fundamental solution, <coughs> and uh, <coughs> but the problem, problem uh, there is a, well, um, of course a problem uh, with a, uh, a, 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 a manifold admit. Uh, Poisson kernel or not, yeah, that's uh, very very important. But uh, in Euclidean space, Euc Euclidean space doesn't admit this Poisson kernel. But uh, uh, so these hyperbolic space and Damocles space admit Poisson kernel. <coughs> uh, there, there is a very very uh, general uh, theorem about the existence of Poisson kernel given by uh, Anderson and uh, Shen and Sullivan. If uh, uh, this uh, Adamar manifold has a strictly negative curvature, yeah? Cur curvature is uh, bounded from above and uh, from below by negative constant, then uh, Poisson kernel admit. The, the Admit Poisson kernel. Okay. So I'll give you an uh, so example. Probably uh, uh, I, 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 I cannot, uh, maybe I'm, I'm not able to uh, give the detail of. Of proof of theorem, but uh, uh, but here is uh, other. So so hyperbolic space. So in, in hyperbolic space, there is a uh, unit open bo ball model, yeah, Poincaré model. Then Poisson kernel is in this way. Uh, So explicitly, uh, expression of Poisson kernel is given, <clears throat> and also in uh, a complex hyperbolic also we have. 
such expression. <clears throat> So, and also I'll give you, oh, let me see, where are they? Biesman function. What's the Biesman function? Here, here, Biesman function. So, so given theta, okay, here is a Adamar manifold, here is a boundary point, and uh, so take a uh, geodesic gray going to this point. <coughs> so, but using my function is this one. So this is the definition of Bismarck function. Okay, so this is defined level geometrical. Okay, <clears throat> and and the Bismarck function is characterized, namely, uh, this satisfy so gradient of yeah unit norm uh, and. Uh, <laughs> From uh, beginning x to zeta. Hmm? X, from x to zeta. So this. Hmm? Gamma t from x to zero, x to zeta. Hmm? Pardon? Uh, gamma t. Uh, gamma t. Gamma t. Starting from from x zero. Fixed x zero. Here is a point x. Here here is a called distance. So, 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 Bismarck function is uh, just a difference. So, distance and uh, this distance. This distance is just t. Okay. This is this di distance of these two points is t. This this distance is this one. So, difference, yeah, and take limit. Goes to theta. Goes to theta. Yeah. Okay. So these these uh, these properties are very very standard for Riemann geometry. Yeah. <coughs> and uh, uh, this Bismarck function is uh, uh, C two at more uh, at least C two C two function. Yeah. In general, not not smooth. Okay. <coughs> but uh, this is a convex function. Since uh, Admiral Manifold is uh, non positive curvature. <coughs> we can choose any x0? Oh, fixed x0. Okay. Any, anything. Fixed, but uh, it doesn't depend on the choice of the fixed point. Since uh, uh, if you, you define another Bismarck function uh, with respect to the same either point, then these two, two functions are. Uh, uh, equivalent, uh, equal up to uh, plus uh, up to scalar function. Yeah. And here is a whole sphere. Whole sphere is just a, uh, how to write? This is a whole sphere. So here, uh, if you uh, given 
x and the theta, then you, you can consider the uh, level hypersurface of Bismarck function. But the value of the value is the same as the point x. So here is how to write. How to. Since uh, so gradient of this one function is just a, a unit unit normal vector. So if you if you oh, how to write. So this is just the second fundamental form of the whole sphere. But uh, this this is just a Bismarck function. <coughs> okay. So just so I have uh, three minutes. Okay. How to, how to how to show that? Uh, so here, consider uh, so here is a Poisson Carnell map. Assume homothetic and minimal. So in this situation, I, I uh, minimal means uh, the trace of the second fundamental form of this phi homothetic map yeah, is uh, zero. <clears throat> and how how to uh, Consider investigate this minimality since this this is homothetic, yeah. So this is phi is harmonic harmonic map, yeah. Harmonic map is uh, means uh, consider the energy of this map. Even this, this is uh, uh, infinity. Even if, even though. So by by using by using uh, by using uh, variational argument to the harmonicity of the map, then then we get the uh, following criterion. So this is a positive function. So take a logarithmic, yeah. So we call the log person kernel, yeah. So th this is just uh, uh, this is how to write. This is a, uh, from the harmonic map argument. This is a, yeah. so here is a okay. So 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 <coughs> so this is a very very important theorem uh, uh, formula. And here <coughs> so this is constant and this is constant. So. So, so this is this is a Bismarck function. <clears throat> so very very roughly speaking. So, 
So by taking exponential of this one, maybe minus sign. Oh no. <laughs> so this is uh, Poisson kernel. So Poisson kernel is given in this form. Yeah. So there is a, a, a link between uh, a Poisson kernel and the Bismarck function. So I'll, maybe I waste I wasted <laughs> too much time. So I should stop here. Maybe. Thank you very much. Any other questions?